Hello and welcome back to Revender in Sports and another reaction video. Now this is a reaction video to another channel who I watch every now and then, uh, the Nero Show and a few other things, and Chris Miller does an excellent job of editing and his music. and It's just very well polished material. So go over there, take a look at them, and uh, subscribe. You know, give them some likes and give them some sub give them a subscription. But I want to take issue on one topic they talked about. I don't remember how many episodes ago it was, but they talked about long sleeve jerseys and how. Um, not sure if they ever said stupid, but just how it doesn't make sense to wear a long sleeve jersey when it's oppressively hot. And I guess uh, during a recent event, um, peaks something uh, with like 14,000 feet of climbing, I don't know how many miles, 140, 150 something, that a lot of folks were just, you know, sweating profusely and uh, that wearing a long sleeve jersey doesn't make sense. I'm here to argue that the reason you're wearing that I am wearing a long sleeve jersey is because Skin cancer is a thing. It really will wreak havoc on your skin. And um, one of Jesse's old co-workers who uh, was a pharmacy tech and then became a, a, a licensed pharmacist just posted a video on, I'm sorry, an image on Facebook about uh, skin cancer she had on her nose. And it, it, it looked benign from the outside. You just couldn't see anything. But they had to dig in pretty deep to remove all of that. Um, so, you know, we as cyclists, you know, I ride 10,000 miles a year, sometimes more. 700 hours of exposure to the sun in a year just on the bike, that's not including anything else that, that I'm doing. That is a lot of exposure to your limbs, right? Because typically your chest will be covered. You'll probably wear sunblock on your face, your ears, your nose, something like that. But arms and legs need to be covered as much as possible. So I wear long sleeve jerseys. Right now the temp outside is 66 degrees with a high of about 71 getting ready to do a quick lunchtime ride and this is southern california san diego area and you know skin cancer is a big big thing here so even when it's 80 degrees 90 degrees 100 degrees when i raced a lot of my 500 when i raced my 500 mi milers so tongue-tied this morning, riding through Death Valley, riding through deserts, there's not a cloud in the sky from sun up to sundown. You could be exposed to the sun 13, 14 plus hours. And, and the second thing is, none of us are fooled by the fact that there's more wicking because you're wearing a long sleeve jersey, it's not about the wicking. What it is is keeping the actual radiant, radiant heat off of your skin. For thousands of years, people that live in the deserts of, you know, name a place in the Middle East, they are fully covered from head to toe, literally from head to toe. So they have covering of their skin the entire, their entire body because they know that wearing the, that clothing keeps them cooler than having the actual sun's rays on your skin. So maybe some people buy into the wicking thing. I don't, that's not the thing for me. Um, so two, two reasons, the first being skin cancer and two, the keeping the sun's actual rays, the heat, that that puts on your skin, keeping that off of your skin. And generally speaking, if you're riding fast enough, you're not gonna have really an issue with feeling too hot, too warm. Um, if you ride 
flattish type rides, rolling terrain type rides, not much of an issue. If you're doing a climb, a you know, long extended climb, 10, 15 mile climb, and you've got a tailwind, sure, you're going to be hot. You just have no cooling air coming um, onto your face and your, and your chest and your arms. But I don't know. I, I think it significantly reduces the sun exposure to wear long sleeves. The other option, of course, is to wear uh, sun sleeves, which I have plenty of those in white and black and blue, just many different colors to match different jerseys. So I'm just not a fan of wearing the actual sunblock and feeling all that sweat and greasiness and then <laughs> all the dirt that gets attracted to it, especially on your legs. So I prefer to just wear a physical uh, fabric barrier. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Chris, I love your channel. Uh, Jesse, both of you guys do great work over there. But I needed to take exception to that segment of your video. I hope all is well with everyone. Uh, you're going into winter, I believe, and we are coming into summer. Um, down under I'm talking about. Okay, for everyone else, please like and subscribe. My views come from 85% of folks that are not subscribed. Please subscribe. We could easily have a 10,000 subscri subscribed subscriber channel. Okay, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you up the road.